guys, so today is December 1st, and that means it is day one of Vlogmas. Um, it snowed overnight, and it's this beautiful, light, fluffy snow, so it's highlighting all of the branches of the trees, and everything looks really pretty. And so the boys are getting ready to go outside and play in the snow. Actually, two of them are already out there. Um, and if I flip you around, our hallway closet is where we keep all of our snow stuff, so the boys have scattered things everywhere. So everything's a mess. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you um, how pretty it looks outside and the boys are playing. And while they are outside playing, I am going to set up our advent calendar. Um, and I'll show you that in just a second because I ordered it off Etsy and I wanted you guys to see it's really pretty. So let me flip the camera around so you can see outside. So the boys are out playing <laughs> around the patio. They've made a mess of the snow over there already. And Isaiah is taking Charlie out for his first little play in the snow, but I don't think he's going to last long. It's going to get cold. <laughs> I love when we have this really light, fluffy snow and it just sits on top of all of the trees. All the branches, it looks really pretty. It's freezing out here, it's so cold. Okay, back inside. Okay, so the boys are outside playing um, and they'll be coming in and out. So hopefully you can hear me over there being loud. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna set up our advent calendar in the house so that each day we will um, go and, actually, let me just show you so that you know what I'm talking about. So I actually got this from Coley Cooper Art. I think that's how you say her name on Etsy. Um, I'll link to this on Etsy in the description box below so you guys can see it. Anyway, it comes in this cute little muslin bag with a little conifer tree on the front. And, she has all sorts of, I don't know if you guys can see this, all sorts of art prints um, in her Etsy shop. And when you order, you get a little coupon code to use on your next order. Anyway, these are the advent cards. So there are 24 of them. And so each day of December, you open one from the 1st to the 24th. And on the back is a Bible verse that walks you through um, Advent. So let me unwrap this. These are handmade um, watercolor painted by her. They're very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, what we'll do is we'll open, uh, each day we'll take the card off and we'll read the Bible verse on the back and then there will be a little muslin bag behind it and I'm gonna have them clipped to um, this twine, I'm thinking, with this little clip here. So there's the card, there's the muslin bag, and inside each muslin bag, there'll be a little activity that I have printed off. So I've got a bunch of them on this paper here, and I'm gonna cut them out, put them in the little bags. So each day, we'll read our Bible verse, um, and we'll look at our activity, and that's what we'll do that day. So that's my plan. I have to figure out how to get these clothespins to attach these things all on this little skinny piece of twine. And then I'm gonna hang them around the door frame that separates our like dining room kitchen area from the family room. So hopefully I can get that put together and get that put up and the boys can open um, day one because today's December 1st, so it's day one. All right. Okay, so these um, daily activities, I searched on Google and Pinterest and lots of blogs for different ideas that I felt were good, a good fit for our family. Um, and then I've printed them out in order from day one all the way to day 24. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep these in order somehow. Maybe I should write the number on the back of each one that don't get them all mixed up because it actually does matter. We are, um, let me show you this real quick too. 
we are doing for, so we're um, on our winter homeschool break because we take a winter break instead of a summer break. I've said that in a lot of videos. So if you're cur curious about how we do our homeschooling, um, go back and check out one of my weekly vlogs that says something about homeschooling and then I'll explain why we take winter breaks instead of summer breaks. Anyway, during the winter break, we usually do mini studies where we focus on different topics. Last month in November was Native American Heritage and History Month, so we studied um, that. And then this month we're doing a Christmas study from Gather Round Homeschool. Um, this is one of their mini studies. You can see it right here. This is the teacher's guide. Um, and so it is, it's three weeks and you do four days a week. So you have 12 lessons. It walks you through the people of the nativity. Um, it talks about um, Christmas in different areas of the world and how people um, celebrate Christmas differently. You make a lot of crafts, you eat, you make a lot of uh, food and baking. It teaches you, it's kind of like um, a unit study. So you got a bunch of different subjects all centered around the topic of Christmas. So um, this is my teacher's guide. We're gonna sit down each day and do this. And then each boy has their own notebook. So um, you gather everybody together on the couch and you do your group lesson together. And then each kid um, breaks off and they do their individual work in their workbooks. And so I'll help Ezra with his. But everybody's work is, um, everybody's work is similar. But obviously the older the kid is, the more work that they have to do or like maybe the more research or something like that. But again, this is a unit study. It's a holiday study. Um, I said unit study. It's a mini study and it's a holiday study. So it's not as in depth as their regular, I guess, studies for their school year. So this is the first time that I am trying a gather round product. Um, my sister-in-law has recommended it and I actually have some other homeschool mama friends who um, have talked about it and really enjoyed it. So we're gonna try it with our Christmas study, see how it goes. Um, and who knows, maybe next year we'll do more of them. I'm not sure. But anyway, some of these activities on our, that will be in our advent calendar correlate with the Christmas study that we're doing. So I have to keep these in order to make sure that the activity that we pull from our advent calendar is the activity we're supposed to be doing in our book. So I'm actually gonna grab a pencil so I can write the numbers on the back of this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, so these are gonna hang like this. And then there'll be another one. This is gonna be a really long, long line of stuff. Anyway, another thing that I wanted to say is that for each of this year's Vlogmas videos, my plan is to have the boys open their advent calendar um, activity and then we will vlog us doing the activity if it's possible. Some of them may not be as easy to do as others, but most of them are just, you know, going to be us spending the day here at home and different things we're doing. Some things are outings, but... Um, Anyway, I'm hoping that that will make it, make this year's Vlogmas interesting to you guys watching. So it's just not the same old thing that we're doing every day at home, <laughs> um, which could be kind of boring, but this may make it a little bit more fun for us and for you guys watching. So these little muslin bags, I probably bought off of Amazon. I will look and see if I can find a link for those and put that in the description box below. And I think I bought 
the clothes line pins at Walmart, but these are probably on Amazon as well, so I'll link to those. That way you guys have everything and some twine if you're curious how to do this yourself and you want it. I will have all of the supplies linked in the description box below. So you can do this too. Okay, so that's it. Now I'm gonna cut this twine kind of long at the top because I'm not sure how much I'll need. Okay, let's hope when I pick this up and I put it around the door frame, it all stays together and doesn't fall apart. just happened. I think I'm going to get this thing taped up and then show it to you finished. <laughs> okay, I got it. It took a lot of patience and a lot of tape, but I got it. So, um, yeah, I didn't want the bottom hanging too close to the floor because I don't want the cats or the dogs really messing with it. I don't think they will, but you know, the dog may because he's little. Um, anyway, yeah, the corners, number four, number 15, they need taped a lot because it's a lot of weight it's holding, but I taped it about every other day all the way around. So here's hoping that I don't have to scrub a ton of tape off of the door frame when we're done. But anyway, I think it looks good. So I will bring the boys in here and we'll pull day one's activity out. Are you ready to come in and pick out day one's advent activity and do it? No. Well, you can come back out and play again in a bit, but we've got to get it done before lunch. Come on. Right. Okay. Day one. All right. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. And that's Isaiah 7, 14. Okay, so that's our verse. Go ahead. What are we doing today? Oh, oh he dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. Which way are you doing, Eclipsy? Oh, I want to be a camera. Be careful. See her. Okay. All right, what's it say? Drink hot cocoa with whipped cream. Oh, Yum. Gosh. So you, it was really good that it snowed and you guys got to play in the snow so you well, could come so inside and have some yeah, hot chocolate. We chocolate. buried each other in yeah. the snow. It, it was, was so hot. Buried. It like was so buried hot. in the it. snow. And now the normal temperature of the house is like, like. <laughs> okay. Because of All right, so guys, we are going to make like a healthy hot chocolate mix and that way you guys can just put it in your cup and pour your hot water in your cup whenever you guys want hot chocolate, but we'll make a bunch of it, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna make um, a healthy hot chocolate mix and store it in this jar, and that way whenever the boys <laughs> wanna make hot chocolate, they can spoon this out, mix it with their warm milk, and it'll just be ready to go. So um, I am using cocoa powder. This is just how I store cocoa powder in my pantry, and I'm gonna mix that with this pure sweetener. So this is what helps to make it healthier. Um, I'm not using any milk chocolate or anything with sugar in it. And I'm using this is actually considered a sugar-free sweetener. I love this pure sweetener. It's a mixture of erythritol and stevia. 
and erythritol is easier on your digestive system, whereas some people use xylitol as a sugar-free sweetener, but it can like hurt your digestive system. Not hurt it, but like it can cause digestive upset and then you'll be in the bathroom instead of drinking your hot chocolate and that's no good, right? So um, the erythritol does not do that to you and it cuts that weird aftertaste of stevia. So this stuff tastes um, so good. It tastes just like sugar to me. It's not a weird aftertaste. Um, so I'm hoping, I get this at Walmart, but you can get it on Amazon too. I'll link to that in the description box below. So whenever a recipe calls for like a cup of sugar, you use a half a cup of this. So you cut your amount of sugar in half when you use this pure sweetener. So basically when I'm making um, a healthy hot chocolate mix, I'm gonna use um, a half a cup of my cocoa powder and a fourth a cup of this pure sweetener. And then I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a couple of pinches of salt because the salt cuts the sweetness if it's too much um, and gives the mixture a good flavor. So I'm gonna put those amounts in this bowl. I'm going to whisk that stuff together to kind of disperse the vanilla into the powders. You can blend it in a blender if you wanna do that, or you can use a fork and kind of cut the, the liquid into the powder to kind of disperse that a little bit. And then I'm gonna put that in my jar. <laughs> and whenever we're ready to make hot cocoa, um, we will use two tablespoons of our mix for every one cup of milk. Now, if you don't love milk in your hot cocoa and you wanna use water, you can do water if you want. Um, we like ours creamy, so we like to use milk. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. And you can like double or triple or quadruple this recipe depending on how much you wanna make. I'm gonna do two or three and just try to fill this jar as full as I can and, and see how long that lasts us and I'll make more if I need to. Daddy. Hey, babe. Um, so All right, so half a cup of cocoa powder. Go. Sorry, you can't see my bowl very well. And then we're gonna do a fourth a cup of this pure sweetener. Hi, friend. Yeah, do you want to help me? I guess I need a stool. Okay, go get your stool. All right. And then we'll do a half teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. I don't know where your stool is at, babe. Oh, I know. Okay, so everything's in there. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just gonna whisk this together to kind of cut that liquid into the powder. And hopefully we'll have a nice vanilla-ish flavor to our hot chocolate. Um, if you don't care so much about um, having sugar, um, then you can also chunk up like, like dark chocolate or milk chocolate chips white chocolate chips you can do crushed candy cane to give it a peppermint flavor and sometimes like sometimes we'll do that but our advent activities this month we have a lot of baking to do um my kids love just coming in and getting hot chocolate during the winter and so i try to cut down on the amount of sugar that they get so that's why we use this sugar-free stuff okay so i don't know if you guys can see that or not but it's all kind of mixed in and i don't see any liquid so, I'm gonna open my jar and I have this, um, it's like a funnel, but it's for canning. So that'll, that'll work really easily. I'm gonna put this in my jar very carefully. And then I'm gonna have my buddy Ezra here help the next batch. I probably could have made a larger first batch, but oh well. All right, Ezra, oh, this looks so good and it smells good. Wait, let me smell. smell the bowl. Mmm, like chocolate. Oh, does it taste good? Is it too bitter? It's not mixed with your milk yet. Oh yeah, I forgot. Last time when I tasted it, it doesn't taste good. I love hot cocoa. Yeah, and another thing too, when you go to make your hot chocolate, um, and you heat your milk in the pan and then you put your tablespoons of your hot chocolate mix. See that only filled like a fourth of this jar. So I'm probably gonna have to make about four or five of these and to fill the jar. Anyway, when you mix your hot chocolate mix in with your milk, if it's still not sweet enough, 
you can just toss in a little bit of this or you could put in some honey or maple syrup or just plain granulated sugar or whatever you want into your mix um, to sweeten it and give it the last little bit of sugary flavor if you want. Okay, Ezra, let's move this because we don't need this on the stove yet. And I will let you put your stuff in here. Yeah. Okay, well, so that actually almost filled up the jar. So I think that that's good. That was four batches. Um, so we'll see how long this lasts us. Do you guys drink hot chocolate all the time? It won't last very long. Well, did that go? Okay, I'm gonna put all of this in the sink and then we'll get started making hot chocolate. Yep. All right, now. Okay, so we put some milk in. Uh-oh, you turned the oven on. No, it just said cancel right here. <laughs> So we put some milk in our saucepan and we've used one cup of milk for each person drinking hot chocolate. There are five of us, so how many cups of milk are in there? Five gallons. Five gallons, five cups. <laughs> five cups of milk, okay. Um, and I'm just heating this over medium heat and we're just gonna keep whisking it. Okay, so I'm gonna put two tablespoons for each cup of milk. So 10 tablespoons, because we have five cups of milk yeah, in here. Yes, this is Charlie. And then I'm gonna whisk those in really quickly. Nine and 10. So, I don't think this is gonna last too long for us. But we probably won't have hot chocolate every single day. Okay, you have to do it very carefully. Let mommy get the, um, powder mix, mixed in and then you can keep mixing it so that our milk doesn't burn. All right, so we're just gonna whisk the powder in and I did get some honey out in case the boys want theirs to be even sweeter. Yep. You don't know how it's gonna taste yet. You gotta try it first. I have tried hot cocoa. Yeah, but not this hot cocoa. Watch. Watch. Mama, mama will taste it first and then we'll see how sweet it is because they'll always say that they want extra sugar in something. I know you boys. Not complete. Sugar fiends, if I let you, you'd be. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so throw that in the sink. All right, can you whisk very gently? Don't get burned, because the pan's gonna get hot. You can go a little faster than that. There you go, just like that. We don't want the milk to burn on the bottom. Okay, that's it. So when this starts steaming and it's warm enough to drink, not too hot, um, we will pour it into mugs and we're gonna put some whipped cream in there. Um, careful, don't burn your fingers. You could do marshmallows too if you wanted. Yeah. We don't have any marshmallows. We use them all for Thanksgiving. Um, but we could so buy them. We could buy them, but I don't have any right now. like <laughs> you want people to give this video a thumbs up our yes. crazy wild disorganized christmas Each world yes. like. <laughs> all of those likes. likes pretty good okay so i hope you guys enjoyed day one of vlogmas um i hope you were inspired by our little advent calendar and i hope you enjoy seeing us go through it each day this month um and i hope you guys give the hot chocolate recipe a try i think you guys will like it um, anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.